We often get asked by engineers with antenna distribution, what are sort of the most common mistakes with setting up? The most common mistake with antenna distribution is not doing antenna distribution. Okay. Right, so the amount of sites that I go to where it's like, oh, I've got a load of stuff, four or five systems, and I've got a rack with a load of punch holes and antennas sticking out the rack, so I've got 10 antennas. If that's you at home and that's your wireless system, please phone Leisure Tech and, and ask them to, to help you out because that's gonna cause you all sorts of problems. What starts to happen is the antennas array together. So they start to act together with their magnetic um, field, distorting it, you don't get any directivity whatsoever. It can be very inconsistent and it can add to RF problems on site. So the most common problem that I see with antenna distribution is not doing the antenna distribution. Antenna distribution is actually very straightforward. All we're gonna do is take two antennas in and we're gonna distribute out from those two antennas to several wireless systems. Um, our wireless systems will allow you to do, uh, for SLXD, you can have up to eight together. Okay. And we'll also allow a cascade as well. So you can cascade out. So SLXD, ULXD, I think you can run up to like 32 channels really off of one distro if that's what you wanna do. Um, but once you're, yeah, once you see what's going on and once you're working through it, there really isn't that much to get wrong other than not doing it in the first place.